Hey guys, what is up? This is Andrew. I get way too much enjoyment out of shooting this guy. And welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we did, I don't even remember what it was. It was Sea Slide. That's the game. Oh, and it's being taken over by a comet. That's a that's a darn shame. We're gonna totally avoid that comet, by the way, because it's time to play with some toys. Oh, good times. All there's a cake there too, and a Mario sprite. Oh, good times. Starting off here, we have Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. Believe it or not. That's supposed to be Bowser. I know it looks exactly not like Bowser, but we'll just say that it is. And then boom, here we, and here we have it. Now we have the very uh, typical Super Mario Bros. theme. Welcome to Toy Time Galaxy. Oh, Gearmos. I forgot that's their name. That's clever. I'm in charge of the upkeep. Makes a lot of sense. Made out of gears. Got a bunch of toys here. There's gears in the sky. Now just, you know, look at this place. Again, you can see everything, and that's kind of cool, but it's just the, the colors are nice. We're in, like, a child's bedroom. I saw a planet way over here, too. Look at that. One little mystery planet. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. But let's progress. I, I don't need the train because, again, my mantra. You you go, you go all know it plenty by now. Aha. Nice triple jump. Well, boom. I gotta get these star bits before I keep making jokes. There you go. Now, this is, like I said in the end of the last episode, one of my favorite galaxies in the series because this has those guys are supposed to be mecha koopas by the way i don't know what the deal is with these changes to stuff that we've already seen but okay um this galaxy does a really good job with each three of the missions or each of the three missions because that's proper english being uh varied and i think just all in all really fun uh so now we just got to go to that mecha bowser and take it out although that really doesn't look like mecha bowser that doesn't look like a mecha koopa either like, we already have established Mecha Koopas from Mario World, and, uh, they were- I don't remember if they were in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but I know we've seen them again, go back to that original state. Galaxy just has that weird, weird hybrid. And then, we've had, uh, we had a Mecha Bowser in Mario Sunshine also, so I don't know what the deal is with the- how can I make it just by doing that? Okay. I don't even know what's over here. All I know is more bright colors. Oh! That can't hurt, I suppose. Have that desire to, I guess, explore everything. I thought I, I thought I knew this place from top to bottom, but I guess not. All right, we got this. Little gravity walls, not a big deal. And it is also nice that, again, I mentioned this earlier. Like I don't remember what episode, really early on, that I feel like the underground theme is way more overused than this song is. Uh, I haven't gotten sick of this song yet. No matter how many times Nintendo uses the, the very original. Um, Super Mario Bros. theme, I've yet to get sick of it. Uh, the underground theme I have, I don't know, I find that to be interesting. You know, I, I rarely ever see someone with that same viewpoint. Uh, I'm not falling for that again, I know I can't ground pound it. Tried that before, nope. Can I, dang it, okay. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Here we have a new power-up, the Spring Mushroom. Everyone's least favorite, and I'm like one of the few people on the planet who likes this thing. And I don't know why people don't like it. I guess because you really can't platform with it, but that's fine. There's no section in this area where you're supposed to- well, Grant, it's all platforming. Okay, I should say, not precise platforming? And I guess- ah, uh, whatever. And I, I think it's fine- <laughs> as I avoid doing that, getting those blocks because I missed them. Um, I've always just liked whenever a game plays with momentum. And I just- there's just something satisfying about the little bounciness of it and trying to manipulate that to my advantage. I like it. Although I don't like the camera switching because I need my star bits. And, uh... How am I going to show this off? Actually, I can just do this. I know there's a thing that people would probably be commenting on, but don't... Okay, I still have the spring. This will be... A pain to try getting. I gotta get rid of the spring once I go back outside. Oh! No, I don't want to get rid of them. Uh, I gotta get rid of some now. That's a shame. Uh, one more time. Once we get up top... Ah. Uh, the block's going to turn into coins. So eliminate- uh, what the heck was that? Okay, why am, why am I getting star bits? I'm getting star bits out of nowhere now, you have no idea why. Is this the planet that I was looking at at the beginning? Is this what I'm inside right now? I love that clever video game, like, design choice of like... Well, we need to have it in the area. Let's just put it three miles away so no one could actually see it. Alright, I don't- let's just- Come on, flame me up. Thank you. I gotta do this because otherwise comments are gonna bring it up as if I don't know about it. Right over here. Zoom in. There's a train. 
No idea why that train is there. It clearly makes no... It's not gonna be any use, but uh, there is a train that is just chilling out there. Again, just at, like a, just an unused asset. I don't know. It's very similar to the... Uh, was it a ship? Or a, no, it was a bottle, I think, in Mario Sunshine? That was just in the bottle, in the... Oh no, because it was in a bottle. I don't remember. It's been a while since I actually played Sunshine, but... There was an unused thing in Sunshine 2 in the bottle of the in the bottom of the bottle in Noki Bay. This mission is taking a while because I just keep running off in every which direction. Oh, the Mecha Koopas can actually jump. Good for them. Okay, so they got an ugly redesign, but they got the ability to jump. You gotta you gotta sacrifice something to get something else. Yep. One more time. There we go. Well, one more time again. Now we're free to go. Mecha Bowser just sitting there waiting for us, chilling out in the middle of space. There's also an odd food theme here. I guess it makes sense because we saw cake in the... What do you even call it? The preview? The model that we that we flew into at first? Because if we're going to be in a kid's bedroom, what better thing to go along with toys than snacks? Here we go. That's that's Bowser. I He's not even... Well, I guess he is kind of green. But... I just, I don't, I don't get it. This, this confused me to no end when I first saw this thing. The Mecha Bowser in Sunshine was ugly, but you could, it still looked like Bowser. Maybe they didn't want to remind us of the roller coaster mission. Not that I can really blame them. But boom, he took out his legs. Now we gotta take out one half of his chest plate. Gotta avoid the spinning fire rods. Bowser's most useful weapon. Glad it's nice to see they replicated that to a T with this toy. This is like a store brand toy. This is like the toy that your parents got you because they didn't think that you would really tell the difference between the real thing and the thing that was like 10% of the actual price of the real thing. It's like, yeah, you mean, what do you mean this isn't Bowser? It's the same thing. Just go and play. I, 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 my desire, again, to compare everything to s something. It really knows no bounds if I'm comparing Bowser to that. Oh boy, oh boy, the- oh boy, the gravity is going all wonky. Uh... We got- nope! Bats. No matter what the gravity is, bats will forever be a pain in my butt. Oh boy. The arm is taken out! We gotta go! I think there's just a platform that will go up now? Like, I don't remember what happens if you actually don't make that launch star because the arm is completely gone. But, oh no, that platform is there now. Okay, so this, this platform is what we need. We're good. Clearly, as I'm demonstrating right now, which is what I intended to do. Oh, this is... This has been a train wreck of a mission. Come on. Yep. 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 This bouncing endlessly on his head. No injuries at all. Whoa! Okay, that was a little bit too fast. That was way too fast. Never got hit by that before, but now, of course... Got to continue this train wreck. You just got to make it to the top of Bowser's head nice and safely. Oh, no, no wall jumps. No wall jumps that are automatic, so I will give that a knock against this, I guess. The wall jumps are automatic. I hate everything going on right now. It's a good thing I got that mushroom. Didn't think I would need it. Hopefully I can make this. That doesn't seem too high up. Okay, good. Oh, oh. Perfect. Bowser, you're done. Right through the noggin. Just like a zombie, you take out the head, the entire thing explodes in a fiery glory. Just like zombies. Ah, the gear modes are saved. Star 1 gets. Lasted, it went on for way too long, but hey, at least we got a star! Woo, toys! Oh, they're all steaming too, that's not good. If you thought that toy Bowser was crazy, that toy knockoff Bowser is crazy, it's time for Mario to meet himself! Nowadays, you can, uh, the, Nintendo, you can't really trust what their ideas will take. Like, they, they'll do anything. Yeah, you want to go into Luigi's dreams and play with a hundred Luigi's? By all means, do that. But now it's like, oh man, Mario's gonna platform on his 8-bit self? That's so cool! And they did it again in 3D World, and it's like, oh man, I remember this from Galaxy. That's, that's what I thought, anyway. Oh god, that sounded awfully negative, didn't it? Hey, hey, it's time to go make our way over to 8-bit Mario. Okay. This is one of those missions where... I feel like more people, I, I don't want to say dislike, but feel strongly against it because they, they I hear I hear people say this mission is pretty tough. Once once I get into Mario, it's either this or the um, when we return to Ape and Mario. 
But, I don't know. I was always perfectly fond with this mission. Fond? Fine with this mission. I can't English right now. I'm too- I'm too over exact- I'm too- I'm too happy looking at all these toys. It's just- it's a good time all around. There's a Hungry Luma, too. Good to know for later on. But it's- I guess it's- I've always considered this to be very similar to the Sweet Sweet Galaxy, where I, I just watch around me. Everyone is just saying, Oh man, this game is so tough! As I'm completing it. It's not bragging, I'm just- that's just how it was. And, uh, oh, thank goodness this mission is gonna be pretty short. Not- not that 10 minute stuff we were just dealing with. So... Cause because these platforms, they disappear and they don't come back. So you gotta come with the proper plan to get all these in one go and make your way back to the start. Cause that's where the star is gonna be. Uh, later on it is definitely a lot harder when we return to this place, but at the moment... Whee! Just can't touch the lava. The lava doesn't kill, so that's nice. Just bounces you up really high. Just gotta... Whoop. This could actually be tough, trying to make this turn. Uh, we're good. Oh, okay, the green platforms do- no. It just disappeared really- took a long time because I just saw one of them poof away. I thought one of them poofed back. But nope. I can make this long jump. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it! Yes! And, ah, uh, Crisis averted. Star 2 get. Mario met Mario, and they had a wonderful time together. On the last stop of Toy Time Galaxy, we got a bounce down cake lane. <laughs> Now it's going entirely food related. This is very similar. I've always considered this to be very similar in structure, at least um, star structure wise, not exactly level design wise, of how Gusty Garden was handled. Because the first two galaxies, the first two missions in Gusty Garden were very different, but still dealt with going between different planet or uh, yeah, different planets with the wind and whatnot. Then the third mission felt different and they changed the music up and whatnot. And we're gonna see that later on. I'm pretty sure the music changes. Uh, if not, I probably dreamed that. Which, given, you know, granted, 2007, after playing through this game like three times in the span of three months, dreaming of this game doesn't really seem too uh, far-fetched. Uh, this may also be the mission why everyone hates the spring so much. Because real- I don't know, but realistically, you just gotta just hold one direction. And now, okay, there it is. Now I finally hit a chocolate wall because the, the distance between them is getting noticeably shorter. I don't understand why. I want to get the thing, because there's star bits. A lot of them. And what is a man when he doesn't have a star bits? Really, now? Well, in this case, he's a spring. I uh, think I got them all. Sweet. Now look at this beautiful orange cake. You haven't lived until you've had a good orange cake. Uh, I clearly haven't lived yet, because I gotta make it over this platform. Ah! Uh, you're supposed to go around. But that's not my style. That's not my style. I will stay here until the ends of the earth to do this. Because I know I've done it before. i got to make it to the end of the spoon or the fork, whatever. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! I am the Spring Mario Master. And here we go. Music. This is Freeze Flame, I believe. Uh, yep. Which makes sense, given that it's all cold now by the snowflakes. Uh, this doesn't fit toy time in the slightest. I mean, the cake, again, you want to deal with, uh, just a kid dealing with sweets, sure. I feel like almost, they could have probably made the name a little bit better, because toy time is completely irrelevant now. But when, th considering that's my complaint, that doesn't really, uh, I think that speaks volumes for the, the, the quality of what I'm doing right now. It's good stuff. Keep trying. One more time. One more round of three lasers. You're gonna miss. And you, you tried. You tried. Bless your heart, you tried. Silly Anthony, he's a robot, he has no heart. That's cold, I guess you could say. <laughs> you get it, because it's frozen here? Uh, you could shut the video off now, it's fine. Oh boy, that... I deserved that. Nope. And we get sweet cannon usage! Man, those people who close the video are gonna miss some sweet camera usage. Camera usage? Cannon usage. You can close the video now. <laughs> ah! Let's go. I gotta... Whew, gotta rest my brain up for the next recording session. Get myself back on track. I clearly haven't been on track for the last couple episodes. Ah, but now we're on a cake. So things are all good. Oh. That was a risky jump I did, not even relying on the spin. That could have ended tragically. But... Oh, I thought we were gonna get a star. Well, we probably will. Oh, hey, the underground theme. We're just speaking about that. Star? 
Oh yeah, we're about to get even more star bits. 200 is clearly not... Why am I talking? I thought that was a star. I I saw the, the white, the glistening, and I looked away, and I was like, oh yeah, star... Like, I looked away to see how the recording was going. I'm like, oh yeah, it was the star, and I'm already running towards it without looking. Clearly, just train wreck after train wreck. But hey, the music went back to the classic Mario theme. That's nice. It's more upbeat and peppy than the slow... I got nothing. I got nothing. I, I can't make light of the fact that I'm just... This was my... Oh, jeez. This is... Oh, wait. That's right. I don't even remember what I gotta do. Why? I remember this mission so fondly, and yet I clearly don't. Gotta get rid of all the candles. Uh... Nintendo used this idea, like, right before the- oh, right before this? I- again, this came out so close to Phantom Hourglass that used, like, a very similar puzzle with blowing in the microphone to get rid of lights. Or fire. And I just found it funny that both those games, both of Nintendo's big franchises, used a similar puzzle idea. But hey, this guy is back. I believe I actually could. Let's see if I can potentially redeem some skill. I, I, I'm pretty sure I could actually triple jump up to him. I don't gotta use the spring, which is on, yeah, right there on that platform. Um, I don't remember if I could because you can't connect to the platform up here. Yeah, you can't. Alright, I wasn't sure if I could. Can I stand on you? I can't. Alright, we'll just deal with the spring. Felt like for some reason it was possible to do that. Because there's already so many instances of being able to, to go against what I'm supposed to do. I just... This is just not going well at all. We got this. He's gonna go down. We're not gonna take any more damage. Oh, those things can slightly home in on you. Thought they were going straight. Ah, uh, dang it. I can wall jump on that. Good to know. Cannonball. Nope. I wasn't there yet. Alright, nope. Okay. Okay! 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 Finally, okay, Toy Time Galaxy, the episode where everything went wrong. Two. This is, I gotta get the star bits. That, 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 that motive won't change. No matter what happens, I still need star bits. I just, yeah, gotta wait for that. Because that would hurt me. And, ah, uh, he's too tilted, I couldn't get on top of him. There we go. Ah, uh, he was about to spark up again, but he's toasted. Get out of here, Monty Mole, I'm done with you. I still love this galaxy, but this has been a sour, a sour note to end on. A place I love so much, giving me such, such hard times. Yeah, no, I can't even get the star! How am I supposed to get- oh, I gotta probably bounce on Monty to get the one up. Whatever! Toy time is done! Yeah! I, I, I just hope that was entertaining. That was... Got one mission that lasted a very long time, because I was just going every which direction. Except for straight ahead. The Mario mission went through okay, so I'll, I'll have that as my as my saving grace. But the, the, the second mission went through perfectly fine. It's just everything else was just sort of eh. But, we're almost done with the engine room. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we just have a, the extra stars to go for. And we gotta take out Baby Bowser. Bowser Jr., not Baby Bowser. I'm ending this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll catch you dudes next time. Bye bye I need to take out my aggression. Perfect.